Hello. So today I'm going to be talking about basically a blade and how a blade can be cut and what types of blades cut better. First of all, when cutting with any blade, be it a sword, knife, etc., or any sharp object, you need to keep in mind that something will only cut when it slides. So you slide and that sharp object gets rains out the material and it will cut into it. As you can see, I can do this and not get cut because my hand is not sliding. If my hand were sliding, you know I'd get cut. I mean, if you've seen my past videos, you've seen me slice open those water bottles, you know I get cut, right? But I'm not because sharp objects only cut when I slide. And a lot of knights would grip their swords by the blade and use like a cross guard as like a war hammer. Another thing I'd like to point out is that there's a distinct difference between cutting and chopping. This has to do with the thickness of the blade. A thicker blade, such as like an axe, which is known for chopping, basically will cleave through wood. What it does is it gets a lot of pressure in a really concentrated area its thickness all the way down to its thin point and it will split open whatever you're hitting with the log or someone's skull if it happens to be a battle axe. But the sword can do that as well and create thin splits and so forth. It's mostly meant to slice and dice and get through, you know, soft tissue and so forth and penetrate, you know, the hearts and like stabs and whatnot. So yeah, and if you look at a katana, a lot of people think those are great at slicing. In reality, they're good at chopping. And you'll notice they tend to be thicker blades than long swords. You could have a thick katana, but they tend to, you know, have thicker. And no, it's not just that the bulk of the thickness is in the center. Like you look at most katanas, they actually are, you know, thicker. And so that, that's definitely one thing to consider when cutting. Another thing consider is um, not just the thinness of the blade and ease of passing through it as you go in, but also the shape of the blade. Now, if you have a blade shape that is curved, you get more surface to cut on with less reach. But keep in mind, less reach does mean you can't reach as, you know, as far away from you. But yeah, with, with less length, you get more cutting surface. And you can slice better because you can more easily get target at a time to go through soft targets and so forth. So that's one thing to concern yourself with. Um, another thing that you need to think about when dealing with the shape of a blade is the fact that when you take a sword and you go to cut, you that's what I'm looking for. When it is straight, you hit it sooner than you hit it with its curved, and therefore a straight sword tends to be better at chopping than a curved sword is. Because you hit it much, 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 much sooner and you can you know, maybe go through like a skull or something better, and you have more power and more energy when you hit it than you do with the curved sword. So that's definitely to keep in mind. And then, not just, you know, the shape of the sword, you have to think about the harshness. Now, a sword that's more hard may break easier. However, it also cuts better. Now, one misconception is that sharp, or that hard objects can get really sharp, well, just because something's hard doesn't necessarily mean it's really sharp. It simply means that it would rather cut than bend. You know, and that's why they say, you know, diamond is so sharp and glass is so sharp. Because they're really, really hard and they'd rather cut than bend. Whereas steel, you know, bends more than these materials do. And so it's definitely, you know, something about the harder steel, you'd be able to cut soft flesh, bone. Much easier than with softer steel, but at the expense that it's more brittle, more likely to break. Another thing you may want to concern yourself with when getting a 
a sword is the leg. Now when you have, say, a rapier versus, no, no, I'll talk about what rapiers later. If you have a, um, a long sword versus a short sword, it is much easier to cut and chop and slash with these long, long swords and the short sword. The reason is because there's so much, first of all, there's so much more mass, more energy, more momentum. You can cut much, 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 much better. And then a second very important reason is because when you cut, it needs to slide. You need to get it at that angle, so to speak, just the right angle, and have it slide down the blade. Say if I'm cutting something that's this thick, it's this and this, and I start right here, well then I slide, and by the time I'm all the way through, it's right here. It's further, further down the sword blade, right? And so with a shorter blade, you have much less room for error. You know, you have much less room to slide, and it has to be much much more, and so that's definitely another thing you want to think about when cutting something. It's definitely the length, because you get more momentum and more room for error. However, it may also bend more if it's not very hard, so keep that in mind as well, because flexibility may make it not want to cut because when something's longer, it may flex more. So these are all things to keep in mind. And another thing is the actual width, width of the blade. And when a blade is wider, like this blade isn't too wide, it's still probably about around twice as wide as a rapier, though. And, like I said before, a rapier may be long like this is, but because it's less wide, it has less mass. If you look at a, a meat cleaver, you notice the blade is very, very broad, because it's meant to chop through meat and have all this material backing up. So when you hit what you're going to hit, this really thin part hits it, but you got all this more material going up the blade, backing it up, forcing it to go through. Also, not only does it do that with more momentum, you know, more force, more energy with the broadness, it also makes it more stable. The thinner it is, the less material, the more likely it is to bend. So those are reasons why a long sword like this is much better at slicing and chopping than a rapier is, because even though a rapier could potentially be the same length, it still does not have as much mass, it doesn't cut as well. It's very maneuverable, very quick. It's more of a stabbing weapon, but again, it's still even better for a long sword to say stab, because the extra mass gives more support. You know, a rapier isn't something you use against, you use against people wearing armor. It's more of something you use fighting people just soft tissue. Um, some other things to point out, and I talked somewhat about this at the beginning, but the thickness. If you have something that's thinner and you hit someone, there's more resistance. Now, again, it could lead it to be more flexible, but and it does make it less able to chop, but it's more of a slashing, slicing thing against soft tissue. Is it thinner? the blade, the easier, you know, you can slice, the less resistance. You take a katana and you hit soft tissue, it's not going to be as good as a long sword or a scimitar because it's so thick, you know, at cutting soft tissue. It may be better at cutting bones and splitting, but again, it's not a slicer like weapons such as these are. So that's definitely you know, a thing to keep in mind when cutting is the thickness and side. If it's less thick, that means less um less mass and less flexibility. And it also means it could potentially bend easier or as I just said, yeah, bend easier or possibly break easier if it's less thick. So those are things that you should consider when looking into you know, getting or making a sword, you know, what you want to do with it. And now that I've said all this, I guess, you know, it's your turn to decide, you know, what different trades you need and whatever cutting thing you have, whether that be a pocket knife or a sword or whatever, 
you know, these are all things to look into before you buy anything sharp that you're going to be using for anything. So, until next time, auf Wiedersehen.